I'm going to show you how you can set up an auto blog using journalists. And what an auto blog is, is a blog where it automatically generates and posts content for you. Content just like this one with featured images, table of contents, uh, edge twos, edge trees, uh, in article images um, like this one, uh, external links, internal links, bold out keywords, and a lot more. Again, a blog that automatically generates and posts the content to it with, of course, the frequency you want. So first things first is you go to the integrations tab right here and then just click on new integration. Now, as of now, we integrate with WordPress as a CMS blogging platform. So what you do, pretty straightforward, is give it your integration name. Let's do my blog about or my health blog, right? So here, WordPress URL, we can use this, just do this for test purposes. And now we're going to need two things, right? Before setting up the integration. Uh, the integration is so that journalists can connect with your blog so it can produce and post content automatically, right? You're going to need the username and the application password. So for that, we're just going to log in here to our Word, test WordPress blog, like so, forward slash WP admin or whatever it is. Once you're logged in, you just go here and click on uh, users, right? And then we have a list of all users. We're going to use this one, which is the, as the admin role. You need the admin role, otherwise this won't work. And then this is the username and that's the email. You can choose either one of them, right? The username or the email you log in with WordPress. Let's just do admin, right? And there we go. Then second thing you need is the application password. Now there's a tutorial video here. You can click it to watch the tutorial, right? Chris it forward, just paste it here. Now I do already have a admin password because I already, already did this integration. so. You can see here that's the integration already done. Click on manage and we see it uh, right here, right? Now, as soon as you inter insert the application password, this is gonna show up, right? With your website, your username that you just added and your application password, which I'll have to blur right here. Now, once it is set up, you can set up a name for the integration, whatever you want. Uh, the author, right? This is gonna pull in from all your users down here, right? These users. So when you write a blog post on WordPress, it is posted by someone, right? And we are going to pull all the users right here that you have um, on your WordPress blog. So you can choose which one you want, posted by the admin, posted by all these ones, right? Let's just do the default, which should be the admin. Now, status. You wanna make sure that you choose the one that makes more sense to you. So if you want journalists to automatically publish or set all the articles to publish within WordPress, you select publish. If you want journalists to generate and quote unquote post the articles in draft mode. So then you can go out there on the um, WordPress site, go on uh, posts right here, and then publish them yourself manually. You can do so as well. Now, I recommend just go with published because it is more straightforward. Now, time gap between each post, you can do 15 minutes, one hour or four hours. So when we set up the number of posts we want published, you can say, journalists, listen, we want to post 100 posts a day, or I guess let's do uh, 50 posts today, but we want you to space them out uh, 50 minutes each, right? That's how it works, right? And this, of course, will depend, or you can just choose no gap and just post them all at once. Then categories, we're going to put it, pull in all the categories that your uh, WordPress blog has. So if you're categorizing your blog posts uh, by category, of course, you can choose just to post them into one category or all the categories or just one or two or just three, right? You can choose which categories you want to post your articles under and tags. In this case, this blog does not have any tags, but if you were to have tags, you could just choose them here and then just hit save, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, that's the integration part. How do you actually go out and set up another blog? How do you go actually and tell journalists to generate and post the content for you? Just click here on auto blogs, the auto blogs tab and click on create new auto blog. Now, this is where the fun begins, right? This is where you can set up the name. Of course, let's just do it a, a test name, right? You can choose a preset, right? And the preset, I have several videos on this. I'll, I'll go over this in, this in just a second, um, which essentially is the preset is exactly the way in which journalist is going to generate content, right? But before that, I mean, you can choose the quantity. You want 20 articles posted every single day, every single week, every single month, right? And of course, you have to select your integration, the one we just created is this one, and then hit active, and then just click create auto blog, right? That's exactly how you integrate with WordPress and how you set up an auto blog to go live. Now, of course, you need to select the preset and I just select this one, for example, and I do recommend you watch the videos on presets because if you click here on create a new preset, I won't go over this again, but 
this is where you give journalists all the info it needs to create content for you, right? And this is very, very important. There are seven steps here of customization and you need to nail this down so that the content posted to your WordPress blog is the best of the best. And that's it. That's exactly how you integrate. And then after the integration is set up, so after a journalist is connected with your blog, you can, of course, then set up another blog to have it. So the content it is generating is automatically in post, posted, sorry, to WordPress. That's it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.